Tim Jones, come on down. Director, Tata Limited. Thank you so much. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. How Lovely. You Have a seat. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Quick picture. All right. So, Tim, we're going to talk first of all about the FDA. We're going to speak openly, frankly. I know you guys know each other. Is that right? As much as we can, <laughs> I should add. All right. Tell us Tata's official view on the free trade agreement. Thank you. So um, I'm delighted to be here. Uh, Tata's official view on the free trade agreement is we are big supporters of the conclusion, the successful conclusion of a, a, an India-UK free trade agreement. We think it's important in the context of the 2030 roadmap mm. to have a free trade agreement. And because we keep on badgering Harjinder and his colleagues and on the other side, because as the Tatas, we're kind of on both sides of this, um, we know that a huge amount of work has been done by uh, officials and politicians to get us where we are now. And so the message from the Tatas is, let's try and get that elevated political engagement done, ideally this side of Diwali, mm. and so get, get, get something if we can. Because, I mean, you can say potentially what Harjinder can't say. What's the risk if it doesn't get done? Well, the risk if it doesn't get done is that sort of people slump a little bit. Okay? Elections on both sides, and right? And there's elections on both sides, and then timescales slip out, and both governments will have, and, you know, as Held Wilson famously said, a week is a long time in politics, and so if you go through the election cycle, that's an awful long time. So I think there's a lot to be gained for escalation, appropriate escalation on both sides now to get this done. So you'd push for a, a special Sunak Modi conversation potentially. Potentially. All right. So tell us what you are most excited about uh, in terms of Tata's work at the moment in, term, in relation to the UK-India partnership. Well, I think I've got to start with, with India. Um, obviously, as a group, we are broadly based in India, mm -hmm. but we're changing so quickly. We're building a smartphone component manufacturing business. The first site we took was 560 acres in Hosur mm -hmm. in southern India. We're, we've built a 4G, 5G stack, uh, telecom Tell stack. Tell us what that means. It, it's the sort of thing that um, your mobile phone signals pass across. So mm -hmm. it's a set of base stations and radios and lots of software mm -hmm. that basically push the mobile phone signal around. Mm. And we built a brand new one, a highly softwareized TCS. Uh, with extras, we bought companies to provide the hardware, and, and we're excited about that product. We're doing a little bit with Air India, hmm. uh, and uh, by, like buying up to 490 aeroplanes, <laughs> and, and, and getting that right, and it's been fantastic to see the cooperation across the group. We've had group companies um, 3D printing obsolete components hmm. to get seats that were broken fixed, in the interim before the whole cabin is, 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 is taken out and replaced. So a lot of excitement across the group about uh, getting the Maharaja, uh, the, the mascot of Air India, flying and flying uh, around the world. Right, did you give us a little sense of, um, of how your, in, in, his, in historical sense, how Tata has, has, has been in relation to the, the free trade agreement, but in relation to negotiations in general? How does that work? How do you engage with business as a government official? It's a pivotal partner of the UK, let me put it to you that way. Um, you name it, Tata is involved in it. Mm. And so we can not, not be talking to Tata. Certainly my first sort of six weeks in Mumbai as the Trade Commissioner, my first few acts were to go and see mm. all the great and good in Bombay House, their headquarters. And um, you can just see just how you know, close the relationship is when you speak to the leaders of the organization. Um, and certainly when you look at their sort of presence here, whether it's Jaguar Land Rover, whether it's Tata Steel, whether it's now the sort of, you know, Air India sort of collaboration across, um, you know, uh, the buying air, um, how many Airbuses was it? I can't even remember the number now, it's that big. Lots. Uh, <laughs> which, you know, involves Rolls-Royce engines. Mm. So, you can't not um, be uh, completely uh, wowed by Tata's involvement in the UK. And so long may that relationship continue, and we are obviously in lots of talks about lots of industries and how we can progress that uh, relationship further. All right, I'm, you're allowed to ask Tim a question if you like. 
Um, Tim, help me get the Indian government to understand various things which you know they need to understand. Um, which biggest thing do you think that we need to convince the Indian government of to, to get this deal over the line? Which one would it be for you? I think it would be, um, I would just use the phrase, come in, the water's lovely. <laughs> T take a risk here with this FDA and let this be a beacon FTA for other FTAs that, uh, that, that India can then uh, go on. We're, mm. we're, let, let's be clear, the UK is a lovely, beautiful country, my country, but it's not mm. the most important country, frankly, mm. for India in terms of its future trade, but it has to be one of the important countries and we want to build that trade. But I think this is a great opportunity for India to jump in, the water's lovely, let's do a, a deep FTA and that can be a prelude to other deep FTAs that in, India can do around the world. So we also know that, there, that Tata's work, um, there's some exports coming the other way. I, I promised you a, a new breakfast item in case of no jam tomorrow. We could have muesli tomorrow, is that right? Well, it breakfast cereal, so this is the year of the millet. And my, who knew? Yeah, who knew? But well, you do now. It's the year of the millet. And uh, the beautiful thing about the Tartars is that we have so many fabulous companies that I could talk about. So Tata Consumer Products is introducing uh, millets. In, in India, we're calling them Tata Soulful. Here, we're calling them Joyful, just to keep you on your toes. <laughs> my key statistic to leave with you, a kilogram of rice takes 4,000 litres of water. Mm. kilogram of millets, 400 litres of water. Millets is an ancient grain, it's a superfood, and we are going to be proud to be bringing uh, joyful uh, millets to the um, cereal aisle uh, mm. in the UK uh, very soon. Give us a sense of agricultural products um, as, a, as a trade component between mm. the UK and India and, and how that sits within trade. Yeah, it's a bit unusual, this FTA, in that Agricultural products don't form a huge component. Mm. Um, essentially, it's something which was made clear to me right at the outset, uh, certain sectors for India are pretty much off limits. And dairy, for example. Um, and the other way, you know, foodstuffs coming into the UK, there are th there's a natural flow of stuff already happening that will continue. Will it open up new markets? Well, we have apples going into India as part of a mini deal we've just done recently. Mm. Um, so it would be those sort of examples. And uh, India has some specific asks within the FTA in terms of um, agricultural seafood type things coming into the Indian market. Those are still under negotiation. Obviously, I can't say mm -hmm. what's happening with them. But um, it's, it's not the be all and end all of this FTA. This is all about in, in industrial goods, services. Uh, are the big things that mm. matter. Interesting. All right, we've, we're running out of time. Last question for both of you. What keeps you up at night, Tim? What keeps me up at night? I think it's um, stability and, and, and coherence. That's what we, as big businesses, want. We want stability. Uh, we want to work with governments of the day. We want coherence in policy. And uh, then we can plan and, and we can invest. All right, last question for you. Keeps uh, you up at night? What keeps me up at night is um, the deadline of, a, of an election coming up in mm. the 12 to 18 month window. All right, clear signal from us. Gentlemen, thank you so much to Tim and Harjinder. Thank you very much. We'll allow you both to thank you. Thank you. move on with your day. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.